my name is Mark Young from Image 22 Productions. This is my uh, method for creating lightsabers in Adobe Photoshop CS2. I'm going to show you uh, how to create these styles and then uh, save them in your styles palette for recall later. There's a lot of methods on the internet for creating lightsabers in Adobe Photoshop and I think this is by far the easiest. And once you uh, created your styles it becomes really easy as basically all you have to do is paint a line. A lot of people use the line tool to uh, create their sabers. It just doesn't leave a nice round edge and uh, it doesn't round the tips of the lightsabers so I don't like to use it. Let me start out by showing you a couple of the styles that I've already created. We see yellow, orange, red, green, blue, and purple. And there's no limit to the uh, amount of control you have over the glow and the color. It's pretty much unlimited with my method. So let's start by deleting this layer that I've already created. And we'll start out by going to Layer, New, Layer. And we'll select the color for it. Uh, we'll do the color of the saber we're going to make. I think I'll make green. And we'll hit OK. Now we need to select our foreground color make sure that it's pure white and hit OK. Now we're going to select our uh, brush tool and up here in the brush menu we're going to select a brush. These uh, are the default brushes for Adobe Photoshop. If you scroll down the list you'll see some that look a little bit uh, blurred on the ends. These are uh, chalk outline brushes and that's what we're going to be using. We'll select this one and adjust it to about 19 pixels just click out of that. Now that we have our brush selected and our layer selected, we start at the bottom of the lightsaber. We press shift and hold it on our keyboard. Click and then hold shift. And then we'll scroll up slightly outside the frame, keeping a straight line between the paint that we've just created and the cursor. And there's our line. Now we'll use our eraser tool just to go ahead and round that off on the end there any overspill. Now that we've created our core for our lightsaber we're going to go to layer, layer style, outer glow. <clears throat> we're going to set our blend mode to screen and we're going to pump the opacity up to 100 percent. And Now we're going to click on the uh, color box here and select the color that's suitable for us. This is all personal preference and uh, you can select pretty much any color from color palette that looks best to you. I think that looks good to me. I'm going to hit OK. <clears throat> now in our elements box down here we're going to click on the size. It starts out at 5 pixels and we're going to adjust it. And as we do that you can see that our lightsaber begins to glow. We're at about 27 pixels. Now we're going to adjust the spread up to about 9%. And when we do that you can see that the lightsaber begins to get a halo around it that's okay. Now on quality down here we're going to go down to contour and select half round. But here are the, the other contours and the effects that they can create. I'm sure they were useful for many other things and maybe lightsabers too. But we're going to select half round and click out of that. We're going to adjust our range up to about 95%. And as you can see, the halo disappears from our lightsaber, but it's still kind of wide, but we'll fix that in a minute. Now we're going to select the uh, checkbox for inner glow, and then we're going to select that menu. We're going to set our blend mode to normal. You can see the inside of the saber turns yellow from the color that's already selected, but we're going to select another green color. A little bit lighter than the color we chose before, and hit OK. Now what we're going to do is adjust the size up until it fills in but you can still see through it and that's about good that's about 18 pixels and we're gonna do the same thing we did on our outer glow layer and adjust the contour except for this time we're gonna use this one which is called Cove Deep we'll select that and you can see it gets a little bit more full and now we're gonna adjust the range up to about 95 percent on this one as well as you can see it kinda fades out and you can see the core 
Now we're going to adjust our opacity down to make it look just a little bit better. Stop somewhere about 30%. That looks pretty good to me. 29. Yes. Okay, now we'll go back to our outer glow menu and we'll bring start bringing the size down. And then we'll adjust the spread to about 2%. And then we'll just tweak our size to make it look as well as we want it to. And we're at about 24 pixels there. It's really good for uh, different lighting conditions. Dark backgrounds can be adjusted to be uh, a lower spread size. And of course light backgrounds can be pumped up to make them more visible. And that gives us our lightsaber effect. Now if you want to save this effect for recall later, in your styles menu palette, we select our layer, create new style, we're going to name it Green Saber 2 because I already have one. Make sure to check include layer blending options and hit OK. Now as you can see we have that in our styles palette menu along with uh, any of the other ones that I've created earlier. Here's the green one I've created earlier and the one I just created. And you can see they're a little bit different. Like I said you can create more than one shade of a color for different lighting conditions and of course the ones I've created here. Now what you want to do is flatten your image, go to layer, flatten image, file, save as, and choose your preferences for your file format. You can also go to uh, image22.net and download the uh, pre-selected styles that I've created. This has been Mark Young for image22.net you can find the full resolution version of this tutorial on my website and I hope this white helps you with uh, your rotoscoping.